Um, no more than normal, I would guess. Um, a loss is a loss. Um, it's just very, very disappointing at this stage. Um, I think always in a loss, uh, in, you know, good reflection is, is always important. Um, hopefully making good decisions um, and finding out to, uh, how to improve yourself for the next game. Um, obviously, we moved to a new part of the country, new conditions, and we need to be able to adapt to that. So, you know, I think it's just wise head, good leadership. And, um, you know, as I say, the side has a lot of good references to fall back on, even though the last four days has been really disappointing. I think that uh, there's enough confidence there to uh, help us um, in the next game. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I mean, I, I guess we just never hit our straps in any department throughout the four days. Um, so it's sort of throughout the four days, we had little mishaps through illness, injury, niggles, everything just seemed to uh, n not fall into line. And, and ultimately, uh, we allowed Australia to play cricket on the front foot. And we know that when they do that, that they're a very dominant team, um, no matter what, what team it is, what Aussie team it is. So, uh, you know, we need to look at ourselves. I think at 100 for four in the first innings, we had a real opportunity. We weren't able to take that opportunity. And then from then on in, we were under pressure. Um, well, as I say, I think his reference points is always important. I think all of us have had success against Mitchell also. Um, there's no doubt that he was the difference in this game. Um, he bowled a superb spell. Um, and he's obviously in form and he's hot at the moment and we need to find a way to curb that and, and, and put him under pressure. Um, I think the condu conditions uh, certainly suited his style of bowling. Um, and he was able to extract every bit of life and, and uncertainty out of that wicket, um, which in turn put us under an immense amount of pressure. So. I must say credit to him for the way that he performed in this game. Well, I mean, I, I doubt there's much mental scoring. We've lost a game of cricket and we, you know, we've been beaten comprehensively. Um, but it's important now that um, we, we move, move away and obviously still a, two big test matches left in this series and we need to make sure that we perform really well in the next one. Um, that's our focus. Uh, you know, when they get on the front foot in a game of cricket, you know, they, they're a very good front running team. You know, they play that way, that's their nature. Um, and uh, they certainly have outplayed us in this game. Um, I think it's important not to always get caught up in the, the stuff that's going around and focus on yourselves and see where you can get yourself right. Um, I think as a team, we've had a lot of success, as I've said before. We've also faced a lot of tough times. You know, we lost the, the first test match against Pakistan in Abu Dhabi not so long ago, had the ability to bounce back. So it's just about being smart now and making sure we train well over the next few days and, and make the right decisions. Um, no different to any other time that I've played Australia. Um, and I think always when you're a team that's on the back foot, things start to go your way. Unbelievable catches, balls at the crack and they're straight. So, you know, being the front runner team, things do go your way and we've got to find a way to turn that around. Uh, we didn't meet expectations in this game and that's, and, I'm, and f we deserve every, every bit that comes our way. But it's important now as a team that, um, you know, we, we're smart, we make good decisions and we respond well. Um, and training is one aspect. I think we need to, to train well over the next few days and we need to, uh, as I say, make, make smart decisions.